Hey guys, welcome back to Jobertech channel. Today we're gonna be creating an infinite scroll pagination. We'll be using the async notifier subclass from the Reaperpad package. And we'll be fetching the list of data from Firestore. Although Firestore is our data source, it doesn't mean that our pagination feature is heavily dependent on Firestore. We'll be decoupling our pagination feature from any database service. So that we can make it as a backend agnostic that you can use it to any backend or database that you're currently using. Because practically speaking, if you're currently using Firestore as your database and you don't have any future plan to migrate to another database, then Firestore list view and Firestore query builder widgets are already provided for us by Firebase for seamless querying. And these widgets not only provide us with seamless querying mechanism, it also provides us with pagination out of the box, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. But if you're using our database service, or currently building your MVP using Firebase and planning to migrate to a more flexible backend in the future, this decoupled feature is definitely what you're gonna need. To demonstrate our end product, we have here a list of users that is displayed using this list view that's separated. And inside this item builder, we're printing the user's length and the current index so that we can track if our pagination works as expected. And as you can see here in the console, we currently have a user's length of 10 because I'm limiting the query to only returns 10 users at a time. So let's try to test this. Let's try to scroll. As you can see, once we reach the end of the list, a circular progress indicator appears, indicating that our app is currently fetching more users. And after fetching, we can see here in the console that the user's length is now 20. And as we continue scrolling and reach the bottom, it automatically fetches the next batch of the users and increment the user's length here. And once we reach the point that no more users to be fetched, this text appears indicating that all users has already been fetched. So this is the feature that we're gonna achieve. But before we dive into coding, let's try to look at the main components that we need. Definitely we need the UI to display the list of users and the uh, Pagination controller class that is responsible for fetching the first batch of users and responsible for managing the state of the UI. And we also have this app user repository class where we will define the API that we need for fetching the list of users. Alright, so these are the things that we need. So let's start constructing our paginator controller class. Inside the presentation of our app user, let's create the paginator controller file. Inside this file, let's create the class, extend async notifier, give it a type of list app user, or the list of object that you want to fetch, and then override the build method. When this paginator controller class is initialized, this build method gets executed automatically. So this is where we need to call the function to fetch the first batch of users. Next up, let's define the app user repository class. Let's inject the Firebase Firestore class and create the provider of this class and pass Firebase Firestore.instance as a parameter. Next, we define the fetch users function that accepts a page size of int and an optional dash doc of type document snapshot. And then we define the initial query and then the query, checking the last doc if not null, then we assign the initial query that starts from the last document. If it's null, then we assign the initial query. Then we fetch the snapshots by calling the get method. Then define the docs. Now let's map the snapshots and convert each snapshot to app user object. Then convert it to list. Then we filter null users and only return non null users alongside with the last document snapshot. Alright, that's it for this app user repository class. 
Let's now go ahead and complete our paginator control class. Okay, first off, let's define the page size as more and an optional document snapshot that holds the last document and create a getter of the has more variable. Next, let's define the page users that return a future of list of user. And inside it, let's add a delay for us to be able to see the loading indicator. Then call the fetch users from the app repository class, passing the page size and the last document. Then let's assign the result that dollar that is not empty to rehasmore. Then access the last document from the result that dollar two, and check if the last document is not null. And if so, let's assign the last document to the last doc variable. Then finally return the result that dollar one, which is the list of app user. Okay, inside this build method, let's assign the state on async loading. Then create a new state variable and assign the async value dot guard. Inside the dot guard parameter, let's call the fetch users function. Then let's return the new state dot value, but if it's null, let's simply return an empty list. Next up, let's define the fetch more method that returns a future void. This is the function that we need to call when we scroll to the bottom of the list. First, let's check if the state is loading, or has more is false, or last document is null, then end the operation by returning. Then next, let's assign the state to an async loading. Then define a new state variable and assign the async value that guard. And inside the that guard parameter, let's call the fetch users function. And we return the state value, adding the new users fetch. And lastly, we assign the state to the new state. In another, lastly, we create the provider of this paginator controller class. Alright, let's build our UI and display the paginator users. First, let's watch the paginator controller provider. Then define the users from the users value that value. Then define the initial loading. Then we check if it's initial loading and then we display circular progress indicator. If not, then we display this view that's separated with an item count of users that land and return up users list style in the item builder passing the user. Then when we restart our app, we can see that 10 users are loaded initially. Next, we want to fetch more users when we scroll down to the bottom. So what we need to do is to define a scroll controller from the Flutter hooks package. By the way, if you're not familiar with Flutter hooks, you can convert your widget to a stateful widget, then define your scroll controller like this, then override in its state, assign scroll controller, and add listener. Then override your dispose method, and call the remove listener of your controller. Alright. Then let's define the paginator controller. Then watch the hash more from the paginator controller. Then let's define is fetching more. Then we construct an on scroll function. Let's define the is bottom. And we check if is bottom and is has more and is not fetching more. Then we call the fetch more from the paginator controller. And wrap the method with add post frame callback to prevent updating the provider while the widget tree is currently building. Now let's call the use effect, then add the listener to the scroll controller, then return a function that calls the remove listener to remove the listener when the widget is disposed. Now in the item count, let's add one if it's fetching more or has more is false. And inside the item builder, let's check if the index is users.length. If so, we check again if it's fetching more. Then we return circular progress indicator. Elf is as more is false, then we return the end text widget. And then we finally register the controller to our list view. And then restart our app and see the magic happens. Alright, the initial loading is showing at the center as expected. And then once we hit the bottom, it's fetching for the next batch of users. And then infinitely fetching as expected. 
and then if we no longer have users to fetch we see this text as expected all right that's it guys i hope this helps thank you for watching